29 year old man, six feet tall, weighing 75 kilograms, start to experience psychotic symptoms, such as hallucinations, hearing voices, and disorganized thoughts. He was admitted to a psychiatric unit and diagnosed with schizophrenia, which is a mental disorder with prevalence of 1% in the world. He started taking antipsychotic medication, in which is expected to see a 20% symptom severity reduction in the first six weeks. However, he showed incomplete recovery despite treatment. A second antipsychotic was prescribed, but symptoms did not improve again. He was diagnosed as a treatment-resistant schizophrenia, and he received clozapine treatment, the only FDA-approved medication for this condition. Finally, symptoms started to get better, and he got back to normal activities. A week later, he started to feel lack of energy, lack of appetite, and fever. He was admitted to hospital, and after blood work, a slight sign of inflammation was found, and he was sent home relieved. One week later, he lost conscious in bed and died. An autopsy was done after 48 hours and cardiac inflammation was found. This is a true case study published in 2004, and heart inflammation or myocarditis is a side effect of clozapine that needs to be investigated. Uh, some, when they started the clozapine, um, some clients that were fairly sick for a long period of time while they were trying different psychotics, they can finally now socialize with their friends again because their symptoms are not as distracting anymore. Or they can go back to school, they can have jobs, they can have long-term relationships because their symptoms are stable. So it is really life-changing for a lot of people. We have uh, recruited individuals that have had the experience with clozapine where they've experienced inflammation as well as patients that have had good experience with clozapine. And we've taken blood samples from these individuals and we use that blood to reprogram them into stem cells, which are a special type of cell that we can uh, transform into any cell that we want. In our study, we're wanting to transform them into beating heart cells. And once we have those beating heart cells, we can do experiments to understand the mechanism by which clozapine uh, causes inflammation in the heart.